A lot of the things that you've heard about animals are lies, probably spread by other jealous animals. Anthony here for D News, and I've heard a lot of things about animals in my time. My policy is to believe them all because I grew up in a city and animals are terrifying aliens to me. But that's kind of a bad policy because a lot of the stuff you hear is wrong. For instance, I've always heard that certain spider silks are stronger than steel. But just this week, a lecturer in the mechanics of biological materials at Cambridge wrote an article explaining that that's not true. While certain spider silks have a tensile strength that's somewhere in the mid range of steels, it's not stronger. And tensile strength is just a single measure of material strength. Steel obviously beats spider silk in things like stiffness. So what else have we been misinformed about? Well, how about throwing rice at weddings? I heard birds will eat it and then it will expand in their stomachs and then they'll explode and then we're all horrible people. But I mean, rice happens in nature outside of weddings and don't birds eat rice in nature? Yes, totally. In some areas, they eat so much rice that they do serious damage to crop yields. So throw all the rice you want, love birds. Real birds are totally fine. How about this one? Camels store water in their hump. There's a camel, it's in the desert, it has a hump, it doesn't look thirsty. Fair. But that hump is full of fat. It's for that long desert trip. It's about two weeks worth of food. Camels are just super efficient at using water. They have these super stretchy blood cells that can hold enough water that they grow double their size. A camel can also handle large temperature swings. It can go from a body temperature of about 94 degrees to 104 before it even breaks a sweat. If our temperature raises two degrees, it means we're sick. Let's talk about baby birds. If you touch a baby bird, the mother will smell you on it and abandon it forever. It will be bird shunned and it will die alone because you wanted to hold an adorable baby bird and everyone will think you're a monster. No. Birds have a pretty limited sense of smell. Vision's really more their thing. Some birds are better at it than others, of course. Kiwis can smell earthworms underground, and there's some evidence that pigeons use some smells and air currents to navigate home, but they cannot smell you on their young. If you move their babies or their nest while they're gone, some species may seem to abandon them when they return, but really they just think a predator disturbed things and they take off to save themselves. They usually return pretty soon after once they know it's safe. The whole mom will abandon it thing most likely started as a way for adults to keep their kids from messing with wild birds. So that should set the record straight about some of the animal slander out there. If you've got an animal misconception you want to correct, set the truth free down below in the comments. Bonus points to the first person who tells me why we think rabbits love carrots. And if you want to know more surprising and mostly terrible facts about nature, check out my other channel, Nature Hates You. <laughs>